Yeah, today, uh, students, we study and, and we'll understand about the water work, how it works uh, from the source to the end part where it meets uh, the sea. So, due to, uh, you know, during this course of time, so water uh, will form a different uh, typical uh, structures on the Earth's crust. For example, uh, in the course of time when the water is flowing from the top most uh, hill, from the high mountains, and when it is falling very steeply, it will uh, form uh, in a, such a layer, no? it will form in steep layer, as you see in the waterfall areas, where water is flowing like this with very high force, will form no, deep valleys. So deep, very deep valleys, and where uh, you, know, you will find V-shaped structures, where you will find the water flow. If you cross section, uh, if you see the cross section of the river, so river cross section will be in the V shape, you know, narrow uh, in the you know, ending and the wide at the top. So uh, this is the structure how it forms due to the force of the water moving and it will uh, weather the side by side, you know, uh, from the side zone of the uh, soil material. And this uh, rocks will collide each other to form a very very minute smaller particles forming the very fine soil material. So this happens during the course of uh, 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 any uh, river uh, flow. So at the same time you will find the you know uh, whenever you will find uh, the uh, river flow you see some rivers flow like you know see uh, you know some snake uh, ways you know like this. And sometimes what happens when this deposits due to the you know, temperature, so this will deposit at one end. You know, for, for example, the flow is you know slowly it will deposit. So and it will form and you know deposits like this. And some years uh, later, it may cut due to this deposit may cut like this. So the river will is flowing directly. Usually it used to flow like this, now it is stopped. So this will form a, a lake a called a Oxbow Lake. Where you will find lakes like this nearby the river where it used to flow like this some millions of years ago, now it stopped and now it is flowing directly. So this kind of Oxbow Lakes also formed with the water, uh, you know, work of the water. And also we will find the canyons. So when the water is flowing like this, you know, so sometimes what even it will erode the soil material from the ground here and here, and you will find uh, the hill zone here, and also the same uh, height you will find the hill where you can easily form the bridges and dams. You can easily construct. This is the ideal place to construct the dams. Because the river is flowing in a such a way that it leaving behind uh, some of the rock material. So you can easily have a jump from here to here. But not so. You can uh, make a bridge. The so natural bridge or natural dam where you can use. So for example, this kind of uh, 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 dam we have is a bison gorges. So it's called bison gorges. You will find in uh, Godavari in Andhra Pradesh. So you will find the hill here, hill here and hill here and inside this, you know, you will find the water flow. At the same time, we have uh, deltas. Deltas also like when river is, uh, you know, meeting the uh, sea, it will deposit some flow and uh, at the mouth. For example, this is the sea and it's flowing like this towards and slowly it will deposit forming this kind of uh, delta shape uh, land where you'll, it will be very fertile. Fertile land is the, the deltas forming by the river flows. For example, Krishna Godavari Delta is formed by the river Godavari and also the Krishna where the two rivers is getting the deposits from here, the other side forming this land, the delta shape. So this kind of uh, delta are very fertile for agriculture too. So that we'll study in the you know, you know, next classes.